I got to tell you, I got to be so comfortable tonight, everybody. I don't know what I did at the very beginning, Billy, but uh, I, yeah, I know it. And, and, and you know, and then I got Steve on tonight. Now Steve's going to be all over me. Today. <laughs> I don't know what the heck I pushed. I, I really don't. So no intro tonight, but I will tell you, we got, we got some pretty cool things going on here tonight. Uh, one you're going to like an awful lot, Bill. Um, we've got a, and, and you know, I got a clicking in my ear. Well, oh, I got to tell you, I just, uh, I don't know what I pushed here tonight, but it sucks. Anyhow, um, tonight, uh, along with Bill and I, uh, after I give my shout outs here, we're going to have Mr. Steve McGuire on uh, from the Unknown Paintball Podcast up there in Canada. And then I'm going to have on John, uh, we will call him Geo Magpin. And uh, he's going to be talking, to, there's a, a fundraiser coming up about a veteran, um, a Craig Shaper, that I guess he's not in very good shape. I'm gonna I'm gonna let John tell you guys all about it. But there's a fundraiser coming up, and it's going to uh, happen on the 16th of October, I believe. So um, I was made uh, aware of it today by uh, a Mr. Tim Grinstead, and uh, I I think that I, I want to jump in and give this guy a hand. So we'll learn more about that in just a little bit here. Uh, you know I. I want to tell you that uh, the Master Blasters, um, next week I'm having a Master Blaster show. So next week I'm going to have none other than Mr. Kevin Donaldson, Mr. Robert Rosie Rose, and James Howdy McGough. And uh, also uh, along with those three guys, I'm going to have uh, Mr. Gary Jones from the Paintball Press. Gary's going to be on with us because Gary's been going to a lot of places lately, Billy. Oh, heck yeah. Oh man, I mean every, every big game I see, here's Gary, here's Gary, here's Gary. So you know it's uh it, it's pretty darn cool. Um so I'm gonna have those guys on next week. But tonight I think it's going to be a, a pretty good show. And um you know we did uh the benefit for Tracy Perez and uh, it worked out pretty good. And you know, uh Bill and I, you know, we'd be the first guys to jump in if somebody needs a hand or or especially, you know, paintball player needs a hand. I, I say that we uh, we jump in and we give him a hand. So tonight we're going to talk a little bit about it. And when I bring John on here in a little while, John will go ahead and he will fill us in on, on everything that's going on. And then at that point, obviously we're going to, I've got some stuff I'm going to donate. Uh, we're going to talk to, uh, I hope some people out there will go ahead and uh, donate some stuff to this. And, uh, and you know what I really need a donation for is somebody to get me to quit clicking on stuff that I'm not supposed to click on here. <laughs> no entry, no nothing, you know, hey. hey. And, and you know, the sad part is I got Bill and I got Steve on tonight. You know, if anybody's <laughs> going to get into me about that. Oh, it'll it's be Steve. It, it's obviously those two. Oh, man. Hey, Ryan Courtney is watching tonight. How you doing, Ryan? And we got a lot of Facebook users on tonight. Um, I, I sure wish I could see your name. Uh, I would absolutely love to do it. So, uh, but yeah, uh, yeah. Bud wants to come on later on. We'll pull Bud up too, uh, Mister Bud Orr. I got to give my shout outs real quick though. You know, I just uh, I've blown everything else tonight. It's just absolutely been lousy. I cannot believe that I did that. So I would have been on there like three times. You know, now I have no problem with being on the screen three times at once. No. But I can't take the teasing from you guys. It, it's just brutal. It's brutal. It really, really is. So, uh, hey, Fred, doing great. Always look forward to this every Tuesday. Ryan, I can't tell you how much I thank you, buddy. Um, we we got to have him on the show, Bill. I, I got to put Ryan on the show one night. He's just uh, he's just such a loyal loyal listener. You know, I yeah, just we, uh, I absolutely love it. We've got the guys that are, that's chimed in so far is a Paul Farrell, Ryan Courtney, uh, Jamie Conley, Chica Strada. Paul Farrell. Wow, yeah, and Richard Wilcox. Richard Wilcox. You, know, that's some, you know, that's something funny too, Billy. I was going to mention Jamie Conley tonight because, you know, that guy has made such an impression on me, you know, working with the Young Guns, and, and he was at Monte Casino, remember? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, my God, what a terrific guy. Um, and, and, you know, we had him on the show too after Monte Casino, Billy, but we, I got to have him back on. Well, that's all well, there's to it. Guess who's going to be Dan Colby's XO next year at Monte Casino? Who's that? You? Jamie Conley. Is he really? Yeah. 
Oh, all right. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You know, that kind of sucks. I, I wish the other CEO would be somebody that I don't know or don't care about, you know. But, you know, this this year I got I had Bud Orr. I had, I had Danny. So I had to play on Bud Orr's for one day. You got the next day. Yeah, 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 I did. I did. So, you know, it was pretty cool, too. I got the... I can't do that. I'll end up shooting my own guys eventually because I'm used oh. to red armbands being on my side. And it's... Yeah, I know. Yeah. Well, you know, you were roughing you. <laughs> you know, I'm not even going to tell you how much uh, I got tired watching you out there, Bill, and I was actually playing. So, you know, I mean, that, uh, that was a trip. So let me give a shout out real quick. I'm going to bring these guys out here. Um, you know, because I, I know the minute I bring Steve out, he's going to go, oh, my gosh. 15 minute lot monologue, you know, you know, it's about 16 minutes too long. So, but uh, anyhow, I can take it tonight. That's I think tough, it's longer. You know? I think it's longer in Canadian minutes too, since they're on the metric system. Oh, you know, that could be, maybe that's why he's always mad at yeah. me about that. I never I, thought about that. I, bet you know, that's I, I figured by doing that, I give him enough time to uh, eat a little bit, drink a little bit, you know? Uh, so I, I guess I, I'm wrong. I don't know. But anyhow, let me my shout outs real quick. I'm going to start with Mr. Tim Schloss. You've seen it. Uh, Ross Alexander flew to St. Louis the other day, and him and, <laughs> him and Tim went to the Rolling Stones concert. Right? Oh, yeah. yeah. Yeah, it was pretty cool. They send me a picture, and they're both like this, you know, and I go, wow, how cool is that? But who are the two old guys? <laughs> I got no response. <laughs> I'm like, what the heck? Well, the response I got, I got a phone call from Tim, but all I could hear is music in the background. Too loud. Yeah. <laughs> no, it, he was he was he was playing Holding the concert for me. Yeah. Uh, yeah. And Susan looked at me and goes, "Tim's an ass," and she got up and walked off. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. All right, so real quick, Mr. Tim Schloss, Tiger Stripe Camouflage, uh, owns Gateway Paintball, one of the best paintball fields I have ever seen in St. Louis. It's pretty cool. Um, yeah, I was just looking for a car. I thought somebody was trying to pass me. Oh, that's pretty cool. Right on, Billy. And yep. uh, Mr. Dan and John Colby, um, Immortal Air now, but used to be Air America back in the day. My sponsor for 31 years, guys. Absolutely love, uh, you know, Dan, I can't say enough about Dan Colby. He is uh, absolutely a terrific person. He really is. And then Mr. Tom Cave, Mayor Gun Designs, Rainy and Juby Boucher, Paintball News. Mention them every week because Paintball News back in the day, it was like the Bible of paintball. You could go out to your field two times a month, pick up this paper, and it didn't cost the player or anything. You'd find out who, you know, who just won what, what was going on next week, what had just happened, where all the fields were. It was just everything that you could want, really, in, in, a, in a paper. It was just great. And then Randy Camilla, uh, APG Magazine back in the day, gave me my first cover shot. Uh, Mr. Jerry Braun, uh, he had uh, Paintball Sport back in the day, and now he has a wood ball out there in New York, uh, which we had the pleasure of playing at a few months ago and had an absolutely great time. I mean, that, like I say, that's that's in my top five. It, it takes a lot to get in that top five. That was pretty darn cool, I got to tell you. And then Ross Alexander, who got to see the Rolling Stones this last weekend with Timmy, um, he had Line SI, he had the Bushmaster Marker, uh, one of my first marker sponsors, great, yep. great person. Uh, Jim Lively, had lively productions, like I always say, two tournaments every year I wanted to do. One was the Masters, Jim Lively's Masters in Tennessee, and the other was Jerry Brown's World Cup. Absolutely great tournaments. I just would love to do those. And then Gino, Gino from Belkin. I got to always mention Gino because Gino does a lot of stuff behind the scenes. And, you know, tonight, Bill, uh, Bill doesn't even know about this yet, to be honest with you, you know, because uh, I was going to tell Bill about it, but Obviously, I, I clicked everybody off. I got some of our guests on, and I just, uh, oh, my God. And I didn't have time to call Steve to straighten it out. So it was uh, uh, it was brutal. It was absolutely brutal. But I got everybody on here now. So, uh, And then I got to say hi to uh, Mark Gong Jr. and Jaden Gong, um, the, the Hermans. Uh, everybody knows uh, I, I just love the kids' teams. And, you know, that's one thing about Jamie Conley. You know, Jamie does a lot for the kids, and uh, that's why I think so much of the guy. Uh, he's uh, a terrific person. And everybody knows, you know, one thing I want to do, you know, I got into the sport 150 years ago. That's what I wanted to do is build a sport of paintball, and that's what I want to do now that I'm back here. I want to keep building our sport, period. I, I just want to really make it something special. 
And now I think what I'm going to do uh, before I click anybody else off here, you know, I've uh, I've had a just a horrific technical evening. Uh, <laughs> yeah, uh, I'd like to introduce real quick uh, from way up there in Canada, on the east coast of Canada, where it's already dark, which really sucks. Uh, but anyhow, please everybody welcome Mr. Steve McGuire. Yeah. Oh, are the monologues <laughs> over? Oh my God, you were funny tonight. What happened? <laughs> hey, uh, everybody. Did, your, did you have that broken funny bone removed? Uh, <laughs> that was a good one. Well, actually, I, I, actually, I, the I got to give you a compliment. The monologues were short. If you didn't start till six minutes in, so like I I gotta get I. I'm uh, impressed. Well, thank, thank you very much. You know what? I was going to try to call you, but it was it was already two minutes to seven, and I'm like, oh crap. I was actually on I, the I phone with my I mom, did. so that's oh, why cool. it took me a while to click in. Yeah, I don't know what I did, man, Steve. I, I you schultzed it. I, I I schultzed it all right. You know, I had two of me on there, and then Bill was gone, and John pulled up, which you're going to meet in a few minutes. You know, and I'm I'm like, well, where's Bill? And Bill was on school here, so I can't see John. I'm like, oh no. I was just brutal, absolutely. And I think you know, I, I think I heard that as a call at uh, Iron City Classic when somebody's gun went down and goes, "It's gone, Schultz! It's gone, Schultz!" Yeah. <laughs> Check this out, man. I went and shot these today, the Jelly Balls. Okay. Oh my God! I just put a few in there, right? Right. Next thing I know, the whole thing's bubbling off the top. I I took it down. Keith Kissel and I shot the heck out of this thing, man. Yep, and and I still got a gazillion balls left in there. So, <laughs> I don't know. hey, yeah, I shot myself with it, and I, Keith and I ate some of them. I wanted to try the whole thing out. So, it was uh, about a quarter cup, uh, like about a, like a, like a, when you're scooping, about yeah. a quarter cup is roughly ten thousand rounds. You see, you were a little late on that speed. How am I late? You just told me. I know, but I took and I pulled, put them in this today. I waited two hours. Next thing I know, they're bubbling out the top of my gallon jug. So uh, obviously, they yeah, it's pretty funny. But, yeah, and my wife's already gone. Uh, you got something bubbling over here. And I'm like, oh crap! Man. Oh, uh, we got uh, Caesar in the house, and I believe yeah. uh, Greg Hastings showed up earlier. Oh, did he? Uh, he, was, he was the guy that said, "Dudes." Yeah. So I'm going to show you a trick, and even you can figure this out. Oh, I got a go. cheap little thing from the dollar store and what i've done is is i've put my I've phone over here on the stand but i have yep. it close just out of camera sight yep. so that all those people that are too lazy to give permission i now have like a little scrolling right beside me i've got that but then i got to put my glasses on to see it <laughs> that that is why i've got a 150 inch tv behind my camera so i can even see you That's all right so, reason, so 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 get a tablet I got a tablet. Well, put it up. I never thought about that, but I, I did try the phone thing. The phone thing didn't fly. You can All right, Bill, it's been good having you on tonight. <laughs> Bye, Steve. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, re real quick before. How's before Steve McGuire, ladies there. and gentlemen? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> real quick before I bring John out. Uh, Caesar, uh, Caesar has the ultra cell. Where at, Caesar? Oh, Caesar's right behind me. Kevin Donaldson's in the house. Oh, and Kevin, Kevin, we're having Kevin on uh, next week. Uh, number 13. Yeah, there you go. Rosie gave me the hat, but yeah, Kevin Rosie, was there when he gave it to me, so. Yeah, Rosie's going to be on next week, too. Uh, you know, Kevin, um, I already wished the Master Blasters uh, nothing but tons of luck in New York area and uh, Chicago this coming weekend. So you guys Ors in the uh, house. Play hard, so you guys uh, do it to it. So, yeah. Um, but anyhow, yeah, I want to real quick mention uh, Greg Hastings. Greg Hastings does the paintball video games. And so uh, you're going to want to be looking. There's a new one going to be coming out. It's got a couple old guys in it. Uh, you know, um, Bud's one of them. I won't say who the old one is. The other is, uh, could be me. I don't know. But anyhow, you're going to want to be looking for that. Greg Hastings does some terrific stuff. And uh, his games are online and stuff. You're going to want to get on. And you're going to want to play those games because they're just uh, absolutely cool as heck. That's all I can say. So, real quick now, uh, Bill didn't even know what's going on. Uh, I, I said earlier 
that there's a, I believe he's an ex Marine, um, a veteran, and uh, he he has some uh, serious serious uh, health problems right now. So I real quick, everybody, would you please? I am going to. Uh, his name is John, but he goes by Geo Magbed. So I'm going to bring John up right now. John, how you doing this evening, buddy? What's up, everybody? Hope uh, everybody's having a good night tonight. Yeah. Well, hey. I am now. It's kind of hot down here in North Carolina right now. <laughs> <laughs> Misfit Toys. Yeah. Nice. Yeah, you know, it's funny. Earlier, John comes on, and I, I see John in the green room, but I don't see Bill. I had <laughs> Bill on. I didn't see John. I'm like, oh, my God. It, it was just unreal, yeah. Stevie. It was. Most of you was, actually uh, uh, know Biggie, and, um, you know, I got brought into the Misfit Mo shop in New Jersey, and I uh, was moving down here, and... Um, Biggie and Bruno um, gave me an awesome opportunity, you know, to bring the Misfits down here, expand, and you know, it, it was one of the greatest opportunities, you know, give very, me very, that chance. Very cool. So, uh, but, um, you know, I got a thing today, uh, uh, <clears throat> a text from uh, Tim Grimstead. Uh, yes. Obviously, you know Tim. And, yeah. Uh, um, I, I called him. It was so funny too. You know, he was at work. He's uh, Tim's a fireman. <laughs> And I call him and I go, uh, is this Tim? He goes, yeah. I go, yeah, this is Fred Schultz. He goes, no way. And I go, no, really? He goes, no way. And I go, no, honest. I said, I am Fred Schultz. And then I started talking about the thing, you know, and he goes, oh, well, I'm at work. He goes, I I'd like to get on, but he said, I don't know if I get on tonight. But he goes, I got a guy that'd be just perfect for it. And John, that's you. Yeah. Um, yeah. So real quick, um, why don't you give a little bit of rundown real quick on, on what's going on. Uh, with Craig and everything, please. Um, Craig's, you know, uh, he's a 14-year uh, Marine veteran, and uh, he's part of the Headhunters team, which uh, when we moved down, when we expanded down here, you know, <clears throat> they welcomed us with open arms. Uh, before this became a huge, huge charity event, this is supposed to be, you know, a little welcoming scenario game for this field. And when I found out about Craig, you know, having that military instinct, you know, you're trained while you're serving that no man gets left behind and yeah uh, that's the same thing with the paintball community man we're all family yeah so um craig is fighting uh, lung liver and colon cancer right now Ooh. um you know he's one of the strongest guys i've met you know someone fighting not one not two but three cancers uh to me that's a warrior mm. uh yeah. inside and out so uh Myself, I brought up to Tim and uh, Jonathan Cohen, who is running the event over at uh, Hematoma Paintball in um, Chuckawinity, North Carolina. I was like, I was like, hey, we're not getting that many people to this event, you know, because it's a first time event. Why don't we turn it into a charity event? And within a week, it, it it's absolutely blown up. We have had over a dozen, you know, different companies reach out to us, like, hey, you know, how how can we donate? We went from having four or five teams to almost a dozen teams now coming out to support Greg. So um, it, it's an awesome, it's going to be an amazing event, you know, for charity. Um, I actually talked to Craig today. He's doing absolutely amazing. You know, he's staying positive about everything. Um, sadly, yes, he doesn't have much time because it's spreading. But uh, the cool thing about Craig is he's not letting it bring him down. You know, uh, He's starting his own foundation, so, you know, when that time comes, there is going to be a foundation, which I told him, you know, I'd like to continue it. Um, I'd like to make this a yearly event, you know, get the paintball community reaching out and helping out and, you know, continuing the tradition, you know, of helping three, can three cancers he has. I forgot what they're called off the top of my head, but, you know, keeping the awareness out there. You well, know, there's no good cancer, I can tell you that much. Yeah, I lost uh, three family members' cancer, so I, yeah, I, I know. I have, I have so also. Sucks, but, um, I got a know. quick question for you, John. Um, now, you, at that event on the 16th of October, you guys are going to have a raffle, too. Yes. Right? To what we're money. doing is now, we're uh, all of that money, is that all money, money is going to right to Craig. We're not keeping a penny of it. It's all going right to Craig. Um, he does have the VA helping him out, but that's not enough you know i'm a veteran as well a disabled vet oh my yep yeah and you know it doesn't much so yeah. you know anything that we could help you know him his family um i know he's got assistant uh assistant dog so you know anyway you know even 
be used of that money and take care of his pup. Okay. You know, how, and, how, how are you going to do that? How are you going to do the raffle now? Are you going to do it online? Are you going to do it at the event? Uh, we're doing it at the event. Uh, we're thinking about doing five tickets for 10, 10 for 20, and then arm length for 30. And then we have, might have a surprise raffle. We got a, we're waiting for the final green light on that one. But um, I came up with an idea yesterday. I reached out to one of the guys uh, around here that makes flags and banners. We're having a Marine Corps flag uh, made for him. What is uh, his rank and name? Go if I if I may interrupt for just one second, if you get the chance, um, Misfit Toys is a huge supporter of the Alley Remembered Foundation. So anything we can do will help. Yes, I know. I'm aware. <laughs> I saw. But reach out to Andy Sturette. Because Definitely. we just had the Alley Remembered Foundation yes. uh, in Aurora on the weekend, and a majority of our money was raised online. Oh, because wow. Because everybody from the paintball community can reach in and make bids. That's so what I was going yeah, um, to bring so up. That. At, the, at the field is great, but I, I would do some stuff online as well so everybody could get involved. Reach out to Andy. I'm sure he'd be able to tell you what he did and how he set it up. I know. Um, well, Bill and I did the same thing. We did it for Tracy Perez. Yes, but and, uh, but with you, we raised almost six thousand dollars. Right, but with you, you did it so that everyone went to PayPal, and it was Andy's got like an actual system where it just goes straight in. Like there's like a an online program that he used. Just we're anyway, actually, I'm just throwing um, that out. We're working with. Uh, I know um, Craig's. Team captain uh, Chuck Garza has uh, set something up with AIM Athletics. Oh, nice. So, uh, yes. So any uh, donations, um, they go on uh, AIM Athletics. I believe you have to put in Craig's name. I, ha I haven't done it myself. I'm actually going to go and check this out later on. I found out from Craig uh, from Chuck a little while ago. So uh, any donations, you can also make it to AIM Athletics. It'll go right to Craig. They were at the last event at uh, Mission Masters where they helped raise funds for uh, – Craig as well. Sorry, I couldn't make that event. Well, yeah. Afterwards, um, you know, uh, give us that that site so that we can put it up. You know, and, and oh, absolutely. People. And and you know, you guys are taking donations for the raffle and everything yes. too, correct? Yeah. Absolutely. Uh, I am going to. Uh, I'm going to send some stuff. I'm going to donate. Obviously, um, I, I, I will donate some cash. But I always do. I'll probably send him fifty dollars. And that, but I want to send him a shirt. And uh, this is one of Steve's and my shirts, uh, Stronghold, that we're, we're still putting together. But there's only 100 of these shirts. Oh, wow. And, and uh, yeah, signed, so, too, and numbered. Yeah, signed and numbered on the inside. So I'll sign it and number it. And uh, you just have to let me know where we can send this. Uh, yeah, I'll shoot so you my that, address. Uh, I'm having, okay. it's either going to me or Tim, but I've been, the wife kind of got mad at me. I've been having packages showing up at my door every day. <laughs> What did you order now? I was like, I didn't order nothing. <laughs> you you, you got to go with the three demandments, bud. Deny, deny, deny. <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about. That, that filthy word. I started house. by communists. I hate those darn Cubans, don't you? <laughs> like, just that doesn't work at my house. I, I get packages every day, and my wife will. If I'm out, she'll always call me going, "You got another package?" And I go, yeah, "Go yeah. Up and see what it is." She goes, "No, I'll just put it over here." You but, just uh, have them delivered to your business, Fred. You've got separate. <laughs> I, I I got it actually. They go to a couple different places, which is almost. That's my point. <laughs> I'll just deny, deny, deny. deny. <laughs> so I'm gonna go. I'll go ahead and um, I'll get that shirt out to you, and you guys can put that up. Uh, and uh, what I'm going to do too is I'm going to mention it. Uh, Bill and I'll mention it uh, every week until you guys have your uh, your fundraiser and everything. That would be awesome. Um, yeah, I'm going to put it up on the website so people can go ahead and get a hold of it. But you're going to want to seriously consider about taking some of the um, – about raffling some of it online. You, you, yeah, you I know we were talking so about that for many, some people yeah. who can't make it. Yeah. yeah. No, I, I know I will be live streaming. I haven't figured out how we're going to exactly do it. It's kind of hard. Like to I did to <laughs> <laughs> but uh, we definitely did want to, when the raffle goes off, we definitely did want to live stream it to people, you know, so everyone could watch. Because I do know Craig's got family all over. Right. So, um, if you want to reach out to me after the fact, I can make some few suggestions. Oh, that would be awesome. You know, any way to get this growing bigger, you know, 
Well, you know, that's what we're doing right now. That's why I had you on. You know, that's why uh, when I called Tim and talked to Tim uh, after I I read exactly what was going on with this gentleman. And, you know, Bill was a Marine. Bill was an ex-Marine. Uh, that explains I'm, a lot. I, I, yeah. Yeah. I, 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 I'm an ex-sailor, so I used to tow them around. That explains <laughs> even more. Hey, I'm ex, <laughs> hey, I'm ex-Army. I was an artilleryman in the Army, so. Yeah. What? Yeah, you know, I could do anything but walk. But anyhow. Well, right. <laughs> but, uh, you know, anyhow, it was you funny. Know, Tim hit me up. He goes, oh, Frank Schultz wants to uh, talk to you. I'm like, bro, don't choke with me. <laughs> I was like, yeah, I already had to read that like two or three times. Like, wait, what? I never They're acquired cool. anything out of the Marine Corps my whole life. <laughs> <laughs> he uses that to make sure he gets his mail on time. <laughs> and, and it works, too. Yeah, Tim was, so, Tim was so funny, Joe, when I called him, though. I, I don't think he, he believed it was me to start with, though. You know, it, was, it was pretty good. He, he made me chuckle. So, but uh, anyhow, yeah. Um, if you've got, do you have uh, access to online to, to do a raffle to set something up? You know, like a, a PayPal thing. Uh, not yet, but I know a friend. Uh, one of my one of the guys from my team is good with all that, so I'm actually gonna contact him see if he can set something up for that. Yeah. Um, cool. Once you do, yeah, get a hold of me and let me know, um, so and we can most, start pushing that. Go ahead, Joe. Uh, the most money you're gonna be able to make is using PayPal and have the people gift it to you, because most of your yeah. Most of these companies that you know take the funds for organizations and stuff, they're taking yeah. a percentage of that. They okay. get a percentage, three per three and a half percent or something yeah. like that. You know, and and most people want the PayPal, like Bill says. Yeah. Hey, I mean, um, I don't I've got send nothing much Craig. of PayPal. Uh, he said he, if he can, he'd love to join the live stream. Oh, is that right? Yes. Can Can you send him an invite? Here we go. Uh, You're asking Fred to press buttons in the middle of a live stream. You do realize that, don't you, Gio? Everybody sees my hands. I'm not touching nothing. Like, I don't know how to, this is all new to me. So uh, the rocket launcher that Bill has is less destructive than Fred <laughs> randomly pressing buttons on the keyboard. I'm just uh, saying, it's you know, safer for Bill to play with the rocket launcher you know, than the Fred to play with the. Is, is, I said part about this is I can't fight back because you're right. That's what absolutely <laughs> sucks. <laughs> you know, I, yeah. Can you get him out there, John? I'm sending him the link that you sent me, so I just sent it to him. So hopefully okay, that'll yeah. work. Okay, yeah, because I, I know Bud wanted to come on tonight too. I want to send it was Bud funny, you know, when I, I can send Bud a link, Fred. I'll do that well, for you. I, well, uh, Bill will. When okay, well, out, Bill will do it then. Yeah. Well, I found out Craig had the cancer. You know, I told Drop him I wanted to help him out. The and send it. <laughs> Craig, Craig had to tell me no, 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 and I, I wouldn't take no for an answer. I was like, no, you're not fighting this by yourself. I'm getting right the on. entire family. I was like, I'm getting the entire family involved. And yeah, that's good. it went from, like I said, to a small little event to now finding out from my buddy who's running it that we got to open up more field. Because <laughs> more right. people are starting to sign up. He's like, I got to open up more of the field. I only had a certain part of the field ready. Now I got to keep opening up more. It's like, hey. That's a good thing. You know. That's a what? very good thing, yeah. That means it just just means a uh, team party helping them open up the field a few days beforehand. Yeah, I'm going to be there early Friday. I was like, hey, I'll be there. Oh early yeah, you got to go. You got to go earlier than that. You got to go a couple of days in advance. Help nah, set I, up I pizza parties. Hey, if I didn't have Folda Gat coming up in November, I'd be able to take more days off. But I got Folda right after. I believe we have Craig with us right now. There he is. There's my brother, Craig. Hey, how what's you going doing, on, guys? I'm doing good, guys. How y'all doing? We're doing good. Um, yeah, we're just. Uh, Talking about, we want to put some stuff together for you, buddy. Yeah, freaking, I can't thank Gio enough, man. He's been like, ever since he heard about this, he's been like on the ball with it and like dedicated to this and dedicated his time, even at work and stuff, trying to get things going and stuff. And so I was like, I can't thank him enough, especially when he's teaming up with my team captain, uh, Clutch from Headhunters and putting uh, putting this amazing thing on for me. Yeah. And, and also Tim Grimstead, you know, uh, Tim is where I actually got the, the information from. That's what actually fired all of this off. <laughs> yeah. I, 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 I talked to Tim a little while ago. Somebody's uh, echoing. He, uh, he added me on Facebook and stuff, and him and I had a little talk. And uh, I thank Tim as well. He's he's a really good guy. Amazing yeah, people he, in the paintball community. Absolutely. You know, and uh, 
that's exactly why we're doing this. I, I'm so glad that you came on tonight um, so that everybody could meet you and, and talk to you. Uh, I think that's pretty cool. Gino's in the house. I'm here. It's just echoing really bad over here. No, not Gio. Gino. Oh, Gino. Gino of Vulcan. Gino the last, from the last Vulcan. name we can't pronounce. <laughs> yeah. Hey, Gino's a great guy. I actually talked to him. Uh, I actually talked to him quite a few times on the new uh, the new uh, app that they got out now. Yeah, yeah, he's a he's a great guy. You know, that's why I mentioned him. You know, at the beginning of all my shows, you know, Gino's one of the names I mentioned. And you know, going back to Tracy Perez, um, you know, I, I love Tracy Perez, great, great lady. But I never knew Tracy Perez until Gino got a hold of me. And uh, Gino, uh, that's what I try to tell everybody about, about Gino from Belkin. Gino does so much stuff behind the scenes that people don't know about. Oh you yeah. Know? And uh, I, I'm just I'm just grateful. I'm kind of in that loop that I can hear about all the stuff that he does. But, you know, Tracy Perez had an a operation on her lung. Um, she's got uh, not a good one. And then mm. anyhow, um, you know, her doctor bills were just extremely expensive. So anyhow, Gino gets hold of me and he goes, uh, I know this girl. He goes, she's a great lady. Uh, can you guys give her a hand? Well, Billy and I put together a, a fundraiser and we raised like 6,000 bucks for her. And it was all from the paintball community. And, you know, one of the first people that contributed, that was Gino. Am I right, Billy? Yep. 100%. Yep. Dirk Gadbury in the house. Dirk Gadbury. Dirk, uh, great, great guy. OG Ironman. Uh, oh, yeah. Play on my team, Constant Pursuit. Uh, actually, started on Constant Pursuit. Uh, he played his first professional game with us back in the day. It was pretty cool. So, uh, you know what? We've got somebody else we'd like to, Craig, I don't know if you've ever met this gentleman, but he's a, he's a pretty cool guy, uh, Mr. Bud Orr. Hey, Here we go. Hey, Bill, how you doing, Bud? I'm doing pretty good. I finally figured this thing out, how to get on it. So. <laughs> well, you had a friend then. Yeah. yeah. How are you doing, Gino? Gino? How's everybody doing? Uh, yeah. Doing pretty good this doing evening, good. Bud. Better now yeah. that you're here, bud. Oh, shit. <laughs> yeah. Give me a break. Give me a break. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, well, not... it was, it was kind of hard to top it once we saw the rocket launcher, but. <laughs> yeah, there you go. There nothing you go. shakes up, but nothing shakes up a paintball more a uh, paintball um, <laughs> event more than Bud Orr. So. Yeah, there you go. And you know what's funny is that that rocket launcher was aimed towards Canada. I don't know what was going on with that. <laughs> Just something wishful about, thinking about semi syrup and bacon or else. I I, I don't know what it was. Payback for when we torched the White House, I'm guessing. Yeah. Oh, boy. <laughs> close, close. Yeah, yeah. close, close. So, so Bud, um, you know, uh, we're we're talking tonight. We have Craig on tonight. Um, Craig, am I pronouncing your name right, Schaefer? Yes, yes, sir, you are. Wow, the only one in a million names. I'm getting better. Yeah, so Craig Schaefer uh, we have on tonight, and we're, we're setting up, uh, we're going to do... Uh, they're going to do a benefit for them. So we're getting people now to contribute and uh, to maybe send stuff that can be auctioned off and stuff to help them. Um, I'm sure you're listening at the beginning of the show. I, you know, I don't want to say what's going on anymore. He was but, probably uh, sleeping like me. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> when, when, <clears throat> when's the auction going to be? Do you have a date Jail? or anything? It, it, no, it's um, going to be October 16th. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Right. And we're you trying to works. change up the event times a little bit so that guy right in the middle, Mr. Schaefer there, could actually pull the tickets out of the hat himself. So oh, if we want to get him involved. You know, if I could get a tank there so he could drive around a tank, I'd do that in a heartbeat. But um you <laughs> know, as long as I don't have to push the damn thing, I'm down. There you go. <laughs> we, you know what we want to do, Craig, is is we want to get some uh, um, items that can be auctioned off. And uh, so that's what we're, we're going to contribute. I'm going to actually send the stuff to Gio. Uh, Gio says that his wife likes getting packages. Oh, so yeah, his wife gonna, does. Gonna, yeah, so we're going to send everything to him and uh, keep it simple. But uh, we're just trying to give you a hand, buddy. I appreciate it. Thank you for everything, for everybody. You know what would be cool? Because Gio said that uh, Craig needs a tank. But do you oh, know what go. happened to... Those Tipman attack cars, the one that had the mini gun and then the roof was converted into a big paint holder. The I think they were called a Hellhound or something. 
What happened to those? It's been refurbished. It's actually functional now. They figured out how to fix it. I, I do not remember who has it, but it is functioning now, and it they do drive it around and stuff. Hey, can we just get that down one? here on the 16th? <laughs> no. Was there just the one made? Yeah. I thought there was. I thought they were made to order, so I guess only one person oh, bought no. one. It, it, it never stopped. Ah, uh, okay. No. Get Craig well, getting the Hellhound. If it has exactly. to be, if it has to be push or pulled, I'll just attach my service dog to it and she'll pull yeah. the damn thing. No, oh, there you drive. go. You drive yeah, it. Hey, that's what you got Geo for too. Geo can push you around. I'm actually um before this turned into a charity event, you know, uh, I was actually asked to lead the uh, U.S. Forces because it's actually based off of, uh, the event's called Operation Jets Cause. It's actually based off the conflict between the United States and Panama. But then, you know, once we found out what happened to Craig, we're like. The, the, hell, the hell with all that it's it's time to you know help out a brother that's going to need help but uh Here, yeah. yeah i'm actually i'm still commanding the u.s forces but uh i already told the guys like hey look you know i, I got an xo he's gonna be doing most of the work i told him i'm gonna be hanging out with craig most of the time i ain't gonna lie Very i'll be cool. on the field for a little while but the rest yeah. of the day i'm craig how long have you played paintball oh, i started back in 2012 and uh, I used to go to my local park over here. It's called, it was Jacksonville Paintball. Now it's called Southwest Paintball Park or something like that. Um, I stopped around 2014 when I became a cop because I took over my time over here in Emerald Isle. And then I just grew like, one day I was just thinking about it, like January. And I was like, you know what? I want to pick up paintball again. I'm 41 years old. I can do speedball. I tried <laughs> speedball one time. I'm like, oh, hell no. Is there something else? And that's when, Chuck, <laughs> and that's when Cl Clutch, because he's the, one of the managers at Black Ops, he was like, are you into woods ball? I'm like, hell, if I could use a speedball gun, let me, I'll go. He was like, all right, cool, man. We might have a, we have a spot for you on our team. I'm like, you got to come try. I'm like, definitely, I'll do that. And I've been hooked on woods ball ever since. Oh, I love woods ball. Actually, that's yeah. where I started, you know, uh, with Bud and, I mean, me and Bill, we started woods ball, what, Bud, about 50 years ago? 85. Oh, uh, yeah, about 75, I think. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I think, I think it was started in 90, 90 or 91. Yeah. Well, damn, I my first yeah. woods ball was at Jerry's. It was in the 80s sometimes. I can't remember exactly when it was. But Kevin would know. Uh, Kevin roughed us, uh, the Master Blasters rough stuff back then. I remember my first time was playing was, shit, I'm 32. I remember my dad bought like me when I was like 10 years old. Uh, I don't know if anybody, any of you guys remember Top Gun up in uh, South Jersey. That was the first time I ever played before. You know, I played it throughout. I started playing you know, throughout middle school, high school, joined the Army, and they were using some, uh, you know, the A5s and the Titman Alphas, you know, for training. And, uh, oh, the and Sim Rounds. <laughs> the what? They're called Sim Rounds? They're yeah. actually, uh, it's, a, uh, it's, it's the real upper re lower receiver of your actual M16 gun. And what they do is they give it, you're like, a special paintball type of upper receiver. And it actually shoots, uh, it's real 9 mil rounds, but just with like a chalk tip. It's like they a hurt. real chalk tip. So, yeah, they you hurt. know, it actually feels like, I've been shot before in Iraq, and it feels just the same being shot with one of these things. Lovely. Wow. Yeah, <laughs> it sucks. I know wow. that we used to have these, like, Mac 11s. I think Bud Orr and Bill were playing with one a few months ago, but it was like a, like a little submachine gun pistol that had wax loads in, like, these plastic white simunition kind of things. Yeah, and it was just fire from the primer, and it would just – I got hit with point blank, and it tore right up, and it ripped through right through my T-shirt. It was nasty. Oh, yeah. Oh, they hurt. Well, well I trained it. You know, for two years, I trained the, the police for Oakland and San Francisco and Richmond out here in California. And uh, we – they started they, – they had these little, uh, like, a 50 caliber uh, – gun it but then they went to the paintball markers instead and the paintball markers seemed to work out a lot better um they had the pistols because i know tom k and i'm sure bud did too they invented some of these little uh handheld ones um i, I didn't even know what the heck they had in them but uh it looked like a regular shell yeah that but, was the same as what i was using yeah. it, but it's but, a white but, plastic with like yeah. a primer charge right yep that's they, exactly they, what you are the sim rounds yep yeah, but they, they found that the, the paintball markers down here, we used them uh, all the time. I, I trained every two weeks. I would go down to uh, Fort Chicago here, and uh, we would work them. We'd start, like, at 6 o'clock at night, 
and he would quit at midnight. That was uh, oh wow. That was at the yeah. end. So uh, I, I absolutely loved it though. So you know, I got to train the police for about two years, and uh, yeah, it, was it, fun. it was pretty cool. Yeah, it was a lot of fun to be honest with you. I met a lot of good guys. It was, it was just great. So, um, but got a quick yeah. question for you. How's your arm Shoot. doing after Monte Cassino? Uh, it's still got a, one of them still got a hole in it, but other than Does that, it? Uh, the other, two of them are healed up pretty good. Man, so. we just, we did a game a few weeks ago at Monte Casino, everybody, and, oh, I uh, wish I'd been there. Oh, it was terrific. It, it really was. And, uh, but Bud Orr, let me tell you guys, this guy is an absolute trooper. I mean, everybody's all come in already, and they're all, they're all laying there going, oh my God. And Bud's still out there for another hour, but he comes in. He got he got shot in the arms. Somebody just lit him up bad, and it, it broke the skin in a couple of places. And, but no complaints, boy. You know, Bud, you are a warrior. You know that. <laughs> well, I can't complain. It's already done. So yeah. You know, but, uh, <laughs> yeah. Uh, Kathy, they, were, they, they were some pretty good holes. Yeah, they were. Did Kathy holes. whoop you when you got home? Oh yeah. Yeah. yeah, I knew that would happen. Yeah, no, she she said, "Well, that's just normal." <laughs> <laughs> well, I actually uh, got hit two, uh, three years three years ago, and it was finally had that big blood blister on my arm, and it was finally going away. And damn, they didn't nail three shots in it, so that was good. <laughs> but uh, wow. no, it, it, yeah. it'll go away. It'll go away soon. <laughs> no, 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 three or four years, something like that. <laughs> yeah, that I, I couldn't believe it when I seen it. That was uh, that was incredible. But I mean, you spent a lot of time out there, man. And it was funny too. All the young kids are walking around, and they get done, and they're all beat and stuff. Buds out there still running around, banging away. Got to shoot, that right, Billy? Got, yeah. yeah, yeah. Well, yeah, Billy, yeah. Billy was following me running on a four wheeler, so that was good. Yeah, he did. You know, I was going to tease him about that, but you know, I can't because he put so many hours in. You know? Well, it was, uh, yeah, he, he was a little saddle sore, I think. You know. <laughs> well, with all that padding? I'm yeah. talking about the four wheeler, oh, oh, oh. I was I wasn't going to go there. Uh, but be it that you mentioned it. Be it you mentioned it. We'll, uh, oh, never mind. There, we we go. won't go there. Right? <laughs> So, Gio, the, the big game you guys are having in October, um, how big is the field and how long has the field been there? You hear me, Gio? That or he's frozen. Uh -oh, he, he ain't moving. moving. He's not Gio. moving. Uh-oh. Uh he he's, he's got that <laughs> He's got the little yeah, hamster you know dial-up internet. I'll, I'll tell you, this is what sucks, is he is froze with a good look. Every time I get frozen like this or, or doing something <laughs> stupid to my nose or something, you know. Well, at least he froze good. So, Craig, you know about the field and everything? I have no idea. It's a new field from what I heard. Um, from what I understand, it's it's a it might be a smaller field from looking at one of the maps. It looks like a small field, but um, it looks like it's a good field, how they have it set up and everything for this event coming up. Yeah, because uh, Gio was saying that, uh, you know, they were used to, oh, here he is, try him again. Yeah, sorry about that, my phone all of a sudden kicked me out of nowhere. I was like, what happened? <laughs> oh, you just wanted to be on the other side of the screen. I do that all the time. He just wanted to sit next to Bud. <laughs> there you go. Everybody wants to sit next to Bud. And now I'm stuck with this guy. <laughs> he loves uh, me from, from what my buddy Jonathan told me, it's, uh, He's actually texting me as it's going off. It's actually a uh, 80 acre field. Um, oh, wow. That's good. It, That's good. It's, uh, it's the same size as Command Decisions. If uh, no one's been out there uh, here in uh, Taylorsville, North Carolina, um, he's been sending us updates. They've been cleaning up the field, you know, rearranging it, getting it ready because they weren't expecting the outcome that it's getting now. They thought, you know, it's going to be a small little event. And now, you know, word getting passed out, more and more people are trying to reschedule you know because we got endless and then we got fold the gap so it's like it's right in the middle of two big events yeah. but now everyone's hearing about this like right, let me see what i can do you know and cool thing is they uh they lowered the price it's only uh 59.95 and that includes a whole box of uh 2000 balls which is uh 
Kicks and, and amazing price. That, yeah. that actually is a really good price. And, and, um, 60 bucks, including a case? Yeah, yeah, plus, if you want to bring first strikes, you'll get a box of round ball, and then for an extra $25, you can bring your own first strikes. Which, if I get my camera, it'll work. I have three ammo crates. Don't worry. <laughs> yeah, up there. Full there first strikes. <laughs> Jamie Connolly asked, where is it again? What's the name of the field? Uh, Hematoma Paintball. It's in Chaco, Winity, North Carolina. Yeah, it, I've never heard of this town before myself. Um, just go on yeah. to uh, letsplaypaintball.com and look up uh, Operation Just Cause. And you know, all the info will be right on there. Yeah, you know, an another thing too, Gio, is, uh, you know, the prices you guys have, you, you need to get them up online um, so that people can view them. Yeah, the uh, prices are all on the website. I'll send you the website also. It, everything's all on there. Uh, if you pre-register, like I said, it's fifty-nine ninety-five plus a box of round ball. Right. Um, HK about Army sent us a new round ball. Um, I guess it just got released. It's a mag-fed round ball that you could actually run through a rifled barrels. I haven't tried it out yet. Um, they've tried it out, and they said it actually works really good through rifled. Because you know you can't use regular round ball to rifle barrels because it'll break. Yeah. Break. But he yeah. said they ran into uh, you know rifle barrels at 280, and it was shooting. Wow. Well, yeah, I'm talking about the prizes. You know, the stuff that you're going to raffle off. Uh, um, once I get it all, I'm going to start listing it. Um, I know uh, Hanu. Everybody knows Hanu from uh, yeah. CPX. He sent us uh, two free games, free uh, air and. Uh, two back, two boxes of uh, walls. Um, Gator Mall sent a certificate for a free Gator Mail any way you want it. Uh, He's a I good guy. Strike, yeah, Damien's a great guy. I, I actually, yeah, Damien's all, absolutely awesome. Yeah, uh, I, 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 I talked to him. I had him on my show last year and never got to meet him until we went to Monte Casino. Um, we went to Monte Casino. I got to meet Damien. I met Jamie Conley. Uh, I met uh, Stephen Snow. I mean, all kinds of guys that I got to talk to online for the last year, yeah. they were at that place. So, but yeah, Damien's a great guy, and Gator Melee is cool. Very, yeah, very cool. so far, like I said, you know, General Paintball has reached out. They're sending a vintage jersey to be uh, raffled off. Uh, Brigade Kenny sending, Stewart. That's Kenny Stewart. Yeah, Brigade sending a whole bunch of uh, the camo tech tees to get raffled off. It, just the, you know, um, I know one of the big military companies, uh, veteran companies, uh, under. He, the minute they Chris find Rain. out you know, what we're doing, you know, uh, they got in touch with me, and they won't tell me what they sent, but they already had sent out within 20 minutes of talking to me. They already had the whole shipping, and I'm like, wow, that was fast. fast. Mm -hmm. Yeah, very Chris fast. Is, Chris is a great guy at it over and under. Yeah. yeah um, Connor, Connor Brandt's watching us in Australia right now. And yeah. Connor, you know, He's Connor doing really well. The hospital too. Yeah, he did. He uh, actually went to a paintball field. He called me the other day. And uh, he went out to a paintball field, but he was in the hospital for like a hundred days. days. Oh, yeah, damn. it was incredibly long time he was in there. So, but yeah, he's out. And Mark Gong is watching right now. Uh, Mark, you know, we talked about you and, and the Hermans and the kids earlier. And Jamie Conley is watching us. Now, um, I got lucky enough that uh, we hooked uh, Jamie and, and Mark up uh, a while back. And these guys are all about the kids. So you couldn't have two better people working towards building paintball with the kids than these two guys. So right on for watching, Mark. So uh, if you get in a little late, um, we're talking tonight about uh, Mr. Craig Schaefer here. Um, we are uh, putting together, uh, Gio is doing a fundraiser for him. He's getting it all set up. So what I'm doing tonight is Bill and I are trying to get other people to contribute to this so that uh, we can raise some good money for them. And uh, I think we can do it. You know, uh, a lot of the people you mentioned already, Gio, you know, are, are friends of Bill and mine, you know, especially Kenny Stewart. Kenny Stewart uh, has the General Paintball Museum. And he was also at, uh, Bill had his museum at Monte Casino. And so did uh, uh, Kenny. He brought one out too. It's pretty darn cool. So I'm looking forward to playing paintball with Kenny in uh, Hawaii. Hanu's having his uh, Hawaii thing there. Joe, yes. Are you going to go to that one? Uh, I Trust me, I wish. Nice. I told you I'm going to hook you up, dude. <laughs> I'm in the middle of planning. If I'm healthy planning. enough, 
If I'm, I'm healthy, enough planning I'm a wedding, so there. I'm kind of, yeah. <laughs> That's where I'm from, so. The thing to remember about oh, the Hawaii really... game is yeah. it lands on Valentine's Day or close to it. Yeah. So yeah. you can take your wife with you. I've been trying to persuade her for that one, honestly, because it's her it's birthday Hawaii. that week, too. And like, it's Hawaii. Oh, I'm and like, I told you, you I'd get you a freaking cheap plane there, you know. ticket. <laughs> you, you I'll get you a what? cheap plane ticket and a Airbnb. You know, the tickets right now, believe it or not, are like three hundred dollars round trip for that. Yeah, they, they went down. That's amazing. I, I, I unless you're Canadian, they went up. <sighs> <Yeah>. <laughs> the minute you have to cross borders, they freaking go up. Hey, uh, I want to give a shout out real quick to uh, Tonka Tactical, one of the uh, Canadian uh, companies out there. You know. He reached out and uh, out of nowhere made a fifty dollar donation and uh, getting a company you know from over in Canada you know it, it shows you know hey look it's not just you know U S companies it's people <laughs> from overseas and uh, a big thanks to the guys over at uh, Tonka Tank Tactical I I was not a, I yeah I was not expecting that at all very cool well Mark you know just like uh, there's gonna be a lot of people now um, that are watching it and. We'll watch it after the show is over. Um, but Mark just said, let me know where I can send a donation. Yeah. So, you know, we're, yeah, we're, we're going to get all kinds of people that are going to be uh, doing that. So we need to get that up, uh, Gio. Oh, uh, I'll send you everything in a uh, chat. I'll send you, you know, feel free to, you know, I'll send you my address. Uh, I'll send you everything for the, the event. Um, if people just want to send something from PayPal, you know, my PayPal is open right now. It's Send everything over. Um, I'll send you. PayPal is what I use, and, I, and a lot of people use PayPal. You know, yeah, that's I, what I, I, use. I don't like going any other way. Is so. there is there any way you can you can give us the address, you know, while we're on the show, and then uh, we can get the ball rolling. I'll send you. I'm actually putting in the chat now my address right now. I uh, I did put in my Facebook, so everybody, you know, if they want to per- contact me on Facebook, they're more than welcome to. Well, Jim's so, doing so, that. Yeah. I actually, I've been, I actually, I've been working too since I feel like left out. So I've been reaching out to people as well. Um, I reached out to a buddy of mine who's sponsored by First Strike. He told him the story, so he's sending my buddy a pallet because he gets a pallet every six months of uh, First Strike rounds. And so my buddy's actually going to be donating 30, 30 cases. He's going to be sending me that we're going to be raffling off as well. And then uh, my sister, who works for Microsoft in Redmond, Washington, she's one of the CEOs. She's actually donating, or she's going to try to donate uh, the big surprise gift. I don't want to say it right now, but she, we're waiting for approval on that. And so hopefully everything works out. Well, we're glad we could help you. You know, um, I really appreciate it. Oh, I, I wish I actually wish I had known about this sooner. Um, but, you know, uh, let me put Gio back on again. My fingers don't like me. <laughs> yeah, I know. Yeah, but you didn't, you didn't gain any space. You're in the same place now, so. <laughs> Tell no, your wife she needs to spin the wheel faster so your dial up works better. Yeah. I'm out in my garage where, you know, we agree when we moved down here in North Carolina, she gets, you know, the spare bedroom or whatever. I told her the garage is my domain. Stay out of my garage. There you go. <laughs> right on. Hey, Gio, how far is that from um, Statesville? Um, about four hours. I'm in Concord, okay. so I'm literally about 20, 30 minutes from Statesville. But uh, the drive out to uh, Chocolinity County, it's about almost four hours. But people are like, oh, you're crazy to do that drive. Like, hey, you know, it, it's worth it. You know, we drove nine hours from here to uh, Super Game last month. So a little four hour drive don't hurt at all. You know, no, doing nine, right. hours, nine ten hours that. hours of drive. No, not that far. But this isn't that the first event I've attended? Yeah, but isn't that where you just were at in South Carolina? Uh, Super Game, yeah. No, bud. Uh, bud did you go to South? Did you just go to <laughs> South Carolina? No. Oh, uh, yeah. Huh? No, I go to North uh, Statesville about three times a year. Yeah, that's what I thought. A good, a good, yeah, a good like, I'm only 20, 30 minutes from Statesville. It's literally right off of 77, so it's a wow. uh, short drive for me. Well, I'm off of uh, 77 and 52 off ramp. Yeah. So. That's Newman. Ryan Newman's a good friend of mine, so I go stay with him. Oh wow, nice! Yeah. I'm really yeah, a race car driver. The speedway, the speedway's right, almost like my backyard. Oh, Ten minutes drive, and I'm at the speedway. Oh, I don't, yeah. Well, oh, that's, that's on, where Bud hangs out. 
Next time I'm there, I'll come by and see you. You can come by and see oh, me. Absolutely. Or something you bet. I'm just uh, glad this event. Right. I'm just glad this event's the- where it's at because it's only an hour and a half away from me. Unlike Black Ops, my home field, which is three hours away, in your paintball park, <laughs> Command Decisions, six hours away. Yeah, I'll definitely do this one. <laughs> very, very cool. Yeah. Well, guys, um, you now we uh, we've gone our hour, so uh, you know I, I try to keep it at an hour. I, I definitely choked at the beginning. Uh, boy, bud, you should have seen me. I clicked on something. Next thing I know, I had two of me. I had no bill, and then Geo came on. It, oh, it was just an absolute mess. I had to start all over again. Oh, oh yeah, it was, that was fun. <laughs> yeah, it was fun to watch, maybe, but not fun to be here. <laughs> it just, it just sucks. So, okay, so what I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to start with you, bud. I'm going to let you. Uh, Say goodbye to everybody, and uh, I want to thank you a lot for coming on tonight, bud. You know, uh, uh, but you're always in for good causes, too. It's a a great cause, and uh, ex-military myself, and uh, uh, I'll I'll do whatever I can, you know. I'll I'll talk to my buddy up above me there, so. (laughs) Actually, if if Paul Newman's in North Carolina, you ought to talk to Paul Newman. It's not oh, Paul yeah. Newman, it's I, I Ryan knew. Newman. Ryan Newman, Newman. Newman, Paul Newman. It's a Newman. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, Ryan Newman does do a lot of stuff for the military. Um, I remember one year, for every single race he won, we got a free meal. All veterans got a free meal at uh, Outback Steakhouse, which was really cool because he won like two or three free uh, three races one year. So it's like, hey, free dinner on Ryan Newman tonight. Yes. <laughs> well, he owns a lot of land right around there. Oh, yeah, he does. He's a, I, I met him once. He's such a great guy. Oh, he's, he's like my kid. I've known him for 18 years. So. Oh, wow. Yeah, so we're pretty right on. Anyway, uh, take care of you guys, and I uh, love you all. And um, I'll definitely talk to my partner up above me, and um, we'll see what we can do. So, my right arm, Bill, it's you. <laughs> see you, bud. All, all right, right, buddy. Love you guys. Later, take buddy. Care, buddy. Later, take dude. Easy. All right. See you, bud. All right, everybody, that was Mr. Bud Orr. Um, obviously, he needs no intro. That's just, uh, you know, i uh, been a friend of mine for 35 years. Uh, just absolutely love the guy. And so, uh, you know, Craig, uh, we're all going to work together on this for you now. I know Gio's got, he's the tip of the spear, and that's fine by me. Um, and uh, so I am going to mention this as soon as we get the information, because I've, I've got other people on here now uh, ready to donate also. That's like I said, I'll send you yeah. everything as as soon as I'm off here. I'm gonna your your message is gonna be going off. I'm gonna be sending you a whole bunch of stuff, so it's gonna be like, oh damn. <laughs> hey, let me tell you, pal, my message thing goes off constantly. <laughs> um, it's like, I, I'm I woke work up today, this morning and, to 63 messages. So you my know, I, my email is going off like crazy. My my service manager is like, dude, what are you doing? I was like, emailing back. He goes, well, I was like, uh, I'm hosting a really big event. He goes, oh, what big event? And I told him. And as soon as my store, our store manager found out, he goes, me and you are going to have a talk tomorrow morning. We want to donate. I was like, what? There, there you go. There like, you go. What? You know, I, and I don't want I don't want to forget uh, Tim Grinstead either, because, you know, Tim is the one that, yeah. that actually got a hold of me today. And uh, yeah, I, Tim's I will, a great guy. You know, uh, I, I will never forget the phone call with him, too. As long as I live, <laughs> I, I will never forget that because it was just. To me, I was cracking up. He, he didn't think it was me, so that was pretty cool. I, I actually yeah, he's like, oh, stuff. he's like, oh, Frank wants to talk to you. I'm like, uh, I already read the message like three or four times. I'm like, what? Dude, dude, what? <laughs> yeah, it was pretty funny. So you know what, Jill? Um, I want you to stay in touch with me. Oh, absolutely, 100. Um, percent Yeah, and I want to work hard on this. Uh, Bill and I are going to work with you guys on this, and. Uh, Make this thing uh, something special by the 16th. So we oh, absolutely. Time, um, so we another cool thing is um, I'm part of Mission 22. It's a uh, 501c that helps support uh, <laughs> military suicide. Um, you know, I reached out to them, and uh, one of the ladies who's in charge personally reached out to Craig, which is uh, absolutely amazing. Um, Mission 22 has also teamed up with Eric Engler at Command Decisions, and will be doing uh, a lot of charity events. For Fold the Gap, so being able to work for Mission Twenty Two also 
for Craig yeah. and Folded event. It's something very big. Um, I'm trying to bring Mission 22 more into the paintball, you know, world, you know, because there is a lot of us veterans that play the sport. So, uh, Absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. I'm. A, I, you know me. Build paintball. Period. That's what I do. Yeah. That's that's me. Yeah. All right, John. Well, hey, John, I appreciate very much you jumping in tonight because oh, I appreciate uh, you letting me be on here. Oh, well, it was my pleasure. I like I say, uh, once I talked to Tim, I knew it was a goal for me. And, oh, absolutely. Uh, so, uh, so stay in touch, buddy. Yes, sir. All right, man. All right, good evening. Good night. Stay yeah. right now. All right. Great hey, meeting you. That was John Geo Magfed. <laughs> That's what he wants to be called. You know, <laughs> so it, it is what it is. So, Craig, um, I got to tell you, I, you know, I, I wish there was more we could do for you, but uh, we're going to do what we can for you. I appreciate it. Thank you very much. Yeah, it, it's my pleasure. And uh, I want you also to stay in touch with me, if you would, please. I definitely will. Okay. And uh, we're going to work hard in the next couple of weeks to, to put some of this together for you, buddy. And then, you know, then after the, um, after you guys have the fundraiser and everything like that, then uh, Bill and I will probably bring you back on the show, uh, you and Gio, and we'll sit and talk and see how everything went. Oh, that'd be perfect. That'd be awesome. Like you know plan? what we ought to do, Fred? I'm going to interrupt for just one second. I'm, I'm looking at Craig's head, and I'm looking at your head, and kind of looking at Bill's head, and I know yeah, what my here head's we like. Go. Here we if go. Paul Newman can make that sauce. It's Ryan Newman. <laughs> Ryan, no, Paul Newman can make sauce. Ryan Newman's the race car driver. If Paul hey. Newman can make stuff, maybe Stronghold can make a special Craig scalp polish that we can go to his thing after the fact. <laughs> we can have like a we have like a buffer, maybe a micro cloth. <laughs> still got there. Exactly. It, there it, you go. You know what? I'm actually dealing with a little bit of sunburn right now. Um, not a lot, but I, I you know, I, I, I've learned to wear a hat from now on. Yeah, see, that's not outside. sunburn. That's from you going to the wall. Why did I ask Steve? Why did I ask Steve? Why did I ask Steve? <laughs> Uh, I love it. I love it. All right, Craig. Well, I'm going to let you say goodbye to everybody. Um, again, I want you, I, first of all, I want to thank you so much for coming on tonight uh, at the last minute like that. That was pretty cool. And I want to, uh, I want you to stay in touch with me and uh, we're going to work really hard for you, buddy. I definitely appreciate it. Thanks for having me on the show. Um, Gio tried to get me on a couple of podcasts this week. It's just, it's just been a bad week and stuff like that. Cause now I got chemo coming up tomorrow morning, which I really hate. I come up, I try to come up with an excuse not to show up, but I go anyways. Um, it sucks. Well, I'm glad you cho chose mine to come on. <laughs> and so freaking when he, when he told me, I said, Hey dude, I'm available. I know you tried to get me on podcast. I know you're available because I was trying to get on that link so people could see my comments and stuff like that, that I was posting. But, for some reason, it wouldn't let me. It said I was good to go for it, but then I tried to type a comment. It said a blank thing, and it said okay. So I was like, okay, you know what? Hey, Gio, I'm watching the show. You know, if you guys want me on there, I can be on there because I'm gonna be up for a while, stuff like that. He's like, yeah, sure. And I was like, heck yeah, this would be That's awesome. Very cool. Yeah. Well, I, I, I'm very happy that you chose chose this podcast to come on. I really am. Yeah, There's I only too. one that's this better out there. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> And so once again, I, I appreciate everything that you guys are doing since you guys just found out about this and the, and the people that are commenting, they want to help. It really means a lot to me. I told Gio no a, a thousand times because I'm about the type of person that accepts donation, but he wouldn't take no for an answer. I'm and glad uh, what I want to do is before Gio got off the phone is no matter how much we raise, I'm going to take a quarter of that and I'm going to match it with my own personal money and I'm going to donate it to Forgotten Coast Canines. They are the canine group that donated yep. me my service dog. Very cool. And uh, I was supposed to do a 30-week course with them, but a buddy of mine who I put in the Marine Corps, I stayed in touch with. He's one of the founders of uh, Forgotten Coast Canine in uh, Florida. And he talked to the, the, the big CEO guy, and he was like, hey, Craig can't do the course. He just had a virtual surgery. Um, this is what happened. So uh, he can't do the course. And, like, within an hour, the owner calls me of the actual company. He's like, hey, don't worry about it. I got a dog. I'm training him personally. She's five months old. She's a Belgian Malinois, and we'll get it up to you within a month. I was like, heck, yeah. Right I appreciate on. it. So I want to donate Beautiful back dog. to them, pay to pay it forward. Sounds good, buddy. Well, I'm looking forward so, to having you back on. So uh, I appreciate stay, it. Thank you very much, sir. It was nice meeting you guys. All right, yes, man. sir. Take it easy. Great hey, meeting you. Too. It was great meeting you too, Steve from Canada. <laughs> <laughs> I like that. That was good. <laughs>
from Canada. It's like an asterisk beside my name. I love it. Oh, Craig, that was beautiful. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I couldn't even apply that better. <laughs> so, you know, he seems like a pretty good guy, huh? Uh, yeah, great guy. Yeah. So um, That's a long know. fight ahead of him. Yeah, like, and uh, I, I'm so glad that we can help him do it. You know, I'm uh, I'm in, you know, and I know Bill. Bill's a, a former yeah. Marine. Yeah. Well, you can tell by his bazooka. <laughs> a rocket launcher. I'm like, God. It's an AT4. <laughs> uh, Technical terms. It, it fires is. a rocket and things go. That's what I hear. Yep. <laughs> I've seen a bounce off. You've seen what? <laughs> Seen I've, seen bounce bounce off. Off. I've seen them spin in a circle in the dirt and go, and just smoke come out of it, and that's it. You know, really? Yeah. Were you hunting groundhogs? No. Those then the why were you from... shooting at the ground? It wasn't, no, they wasn't. shoot and go like that. Bounced the off the tanks. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> you just right on. Yeah. Steve, uh, I appreciate you coming on tonight. Oh, it was my pleasure to be on. It was pretty cool. I'm not on it enough. My yeah. personal opinion. <laughs> well, you know, I'll, I'll bring you on more then. That's, you know, you're, you're starting to get a sense, starting to get a sense of humor. So you know, you're starting to fit in a little better. Like oh, that. I'm only starting starting to get a sense of humor. <laughs> what the hell? Let me take the kid gloves off then. <laughs> That's just like two trips to Colorado. Just think what it's going to be like in the future. <laughs> Man, I, I unfortunately missed the last trip because I wasn't feeling 100. percent I was supposed to be in Colorado for the Allard Remembered Foundation. Like they're ready to buy tickets for me and everything, and I just like, I gotta go to the hospital. Just, you know, let's let's put it off. Got it. I'm fine, by the way, everybody. No, no oohs or ahs. No benefits needed. I'm fine. Just. <laughs> well, you always look healthy. It's your mental condition we're always concerned about. Yeah, that 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 ship sailed. <laughs> <laughs> That's how I am too. You know, and I don't hide it. So, right on, Steve. I appreciate so much you coming on tonight, buddy. All right, everybody. Play with passion. Keep your paint dry. Talk to y'all later. See ya. All right, everybody. That's Mr. Steve McGuire. Um, you know, on PayPal podcast. Everybody knows the hand. The hand's up there, and behind the hand is Steve McGuire. So if you guys get a chance, um, he has his on every tomorrow, actually, every Wednesday night. Uh, you're going to want to tune in. He has his on about 6 o'clock Pacific time, 9 o'clock uh, Eastern time. Uh, tune in. Chime in. Give him, give him some trouble, man. Text him. Text him. Tell him how much you love him. It'll be cool. Right on. Yeah. So what do you think, Bill? I think it's a, it's a hell of a cause. I can't wait to see what uh, we can do. I just, uh, well, you know, we, you know we've, all, we've always done something, you know. Um, it's just, uh, you know, a, a fellow serviceman, you know, on top of that, you know, and, and a Marine, you know. Yeah. So um, I just uh, I, I'm very glad that uh, we got linked up. You know, it, if Tim Grimstead wouldn't have texted me, texted me today about it, and uh, you know, he didn't ask me for anything. He didn't ask me to do anything. He just texted me about it and said something about like, uh, it, if you're interested, you could really help. You know, so that's why I called him, and then it just seemed to work out pretty good from there. Yeah. Well, so. we'll see what we can get put together and uh, get the ball rolling with everybody, and hopefully, you know, we can make a difference. So. Yeah. Well, right on, Bill. Uh, tell Susan I said hi. Yep. I will in the morning. She's already asleep. Yeah. That's, <laughs> Sherry's in there waiting with my dinner, so yes. <laughs> I'm gonna go go chow down now. So you know, you know, we had, you know Mark Gong and Ryan Courtney. You know Ryan Courtney watches us a lot. Oh, he yeah. is uh, a terrific person. We definitely need to get him on, Billy. Yep. You know, and I want to bring Jamie Conley back on too. Oh yeah. Yeah. There's there's a lot of people. You know, a lot of regulars. So. You know, real quick, uh, you got that Pirates Plunder coming up yep. here at uh, Paintball to Go pretty soon, don't you? Yeah, that's uh, October 23rd and 24th. So that that is coming up. It's less than a month away. I guess everybody dresses up like pirates. Yep. Yeah, or, they go. They fight on the ship, and uh, at the end, they actually do a one-hour uh, one-ball game where you can only load one ball at a time in your gun. You know, this oh, is, really? Yeah, yeah. So it's pretty damn funny. Oh, and maybe they're fighting with swords. They actually have, uh, you know, foam swords and stuff, you know. 
Unbelievable. Well, I can't make that one, but I hope you take pictures for us. Oh, I will. Yeah, they're, it's going to be pretty good. Uh, do you get to play or do you have to run this one too? Uh, I can play. Uh, I, I don't know if I'll actually get to play, but I, I'll be there, you know, and uh, most likely play. I, you know, I'll try to. Yeah, because so. yeah, I know last time you worked your butt off. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I, I, I was I, very impressed. And, and then you, and then on top of it, you brought the whole museum there. And then after you worked your butt off, you had to pack the whole museum up, take the whole oh, museum I, back. Yeah, I had a lot of help packing, though, you know. Yeah. Yeah, because uh, I I think yeah, what you had three guys stay there, didn't you? Oh, at least me, yeah. Jean, yeah, me, me Gene stayed. Stephen and uh, you know everybody chip in whenever they could. Hell, even yeah. even could help. You know everybody helped. You know that so. was very cool. Yeah. Wow. All right, Billy. All righty. Good show, and uh, let's see what we can do for for Craig. Yep. All cool. right, buddy. Have a good evening. All right, you too. See ya. All right, man. All right, everybody, I appreciate you hanging with us tonight. Um, pretty cool. Uh, I want to thank you so much. You know, as a, I got off to a rocky start. I don't know what the heck I did. I pushed something wrong, uh, something I'm pretty damn good at. Uh, but anyhow, I, I got it straightened out. So uh, if you're looking on Flagpole Productions, and check it out uh, for uh, the fundraiser for Mr. Craig Schaefer. I, I am so glad we got to talk to him tonight. He seemed like a terrific guy. And um, it's just, a, you know, when you hear stuff like that, even when you don't know the person, it's it's still heartbreaking uh, to have to deal with something of that magnitude with your health. So uh, we're all praying for him, and we're all going to uh, give him a hand here. So, all right, until next Tuesday evening. Now, remember, next Tuesday evening, I'm having a Master Blaster special. And we're going to have on Mr. Kevin Donaldson. We're going to have Mr. Robert Rosie Rose. And we're going to have James Howdy. Uh, you know, Howdy, I've, I've been blowing your last name. So I'm just going to say Howdy. He's going to be on that. Also, we're going to have uh, Mr. Gary Jones from the Paintball Press. Gary's a great guy. He's been going to a lot of places. He's going to jump in and uh, tune us in to where he's been. So until next Tuesday evening, 7 o'clock Pacific time, please play hard, play safe, play fair, but get out there and play some paintball.